not only over there but also over here and um, they have to be time invariant so you really make you have to make sure that you will find the same point in both scenes as you can see here um, the scene of the of the aerial photograph is much bigger than the high resoluted scene in the reference picture so if you're going in the in the southern parts over here you can see here uh, the S Bahnhof Schöneberg which corresponds to this area over here so we have to uh, you have we have to find some kind of spot over here in this triangle but this is really hard to find because of the bad resolution in this image in the end you will maybe come on uh, come up with the resolution or with the solution uh, like this over here so we will have in the end or we are having in the end about 12 points over the whole area given here in red um, but you can also see that this area in the aerial photograph is not the, that good represented and um, yeah given the model uh, with um, a polynomial order by 3 um, you will need at least 11 points to solve this calculation we have about 12 so our um, control point error is in the end by just clicking here about 1.9 pixels which means that the uh, coordinates in this scene are in the mean value 1.9 uh, pixels away from this uh, from this reference pixels um, this is not that kind of good solution so you, in the end you should come up uh, come up with uh, um, an RMSE from about 0 0.5 pixel but given this uh, you know coarse resoluted scene with 5 meters and this really good resoluted scene with 60 centimeters on the one hand then the problem of the time uh, variance of the of the of the buildings and the crossings and everything like that and also by the coverage because we don't have everywhere the same coverage in this area here over here the coverage is really bad so just look over here layer info using arrange layers apply This only has a resolution of about 14.25 meters. So, given this um, possible georeference variation set, uh, we can produce our main image. Therefore, we will need this tool again, geocorrector correction tool. And as you can see, um, after setting 12 points, we can use this button display resample image demo dialog which means which means that this image is uh, will be transformed to a rectified image uh, which we will can which we can overlay in this in this year so therefore we have to give him a name 1944.img this is fine so it has an output cell size of about five meters meters this is um, automatically um, calculated and we have some possibilities of resampling methods due to the point that this is not uh, some kind of um, um, digital elevation model or something like that we will use nearest neighbor which will result in maybe a blocky image uh, but uh, we will see that later on uh, if it's too blocky you can also go by bilinear interpolation which will interpolate uh, between four points or cubic or b cubic uh, convolution uh, eg spline so but now first hand we will go with nearest neighbor and this will do the um, do the calculation there we are in the end just yeah, you know, exit the whole model. Yeah, we can. We will uh, save the model. Um, so 1944, 2000 
it will be the name.gms. Okay, okay. No thanks, no thanks. So if we are looking on the picture, then we will see that it fits quite well. So this is, of course, the QuickBird image, so it should probably fits well. But if we have a look on the orange layer button and just changing the um, view on that, now we will have the um, aerial photograph from the wall on the upper part. Make sure that the transparent pixels will be shown. And as you can see, um, of course, also this scene fits quite well to the underlying scene. So if you if you are using Plant and Swipe, you can easily see that the area or the the georeferenciation was quite successful. So just go a little bit more into detail. Once again, Blend to use to check this uh, coverage. And there we go. Maybe be a little bit more critical just by comparing the, uh, the overlaying with the QuickBird scene. So once again, QuickBird is the underlying and this is the other. So we will have some kind of problems here, especially if you're looking here in this area. It was not that good. So you have a little, a little distortion here, but you don't actually you don't really know what what provides a distortion in this. So yeah, this area we have a semi good. Uh, result go a little bit more over here this is really nice so thanks once again for your uh, time